tears in your voice, he said as he walked away and closed the door behind him. They met that night and he bought her a couple of Merlots. From Mendoza, she requested. It reminded her of home, the timber of the wine, the odor, the body. It had been a couple of years since she'd gone back, but this taste brought her to summer vacations when her mother would allow her to have a glass for dinner at 10 p.m. Tonight's song, When Doves Cry. She picked them while still singing. She saw his ginger goatee and knew by the way he was getting intoxicated by her voice that he was tonight's sleeping pill. I'm from Cardiff, and I'm visiting Edinburgh for the night. He said to her like a boy lost in a club. I'm from Buenos Aires. I got lost here in the castle for a while. She smiled. A different city, a different man. He was her type. Goofy and cute at the same time. Garrett. Carolina. Beautiful. Deal sealed. Usually when they offered their name and a platter of compliments to her, she knew she was going to have a good night's sleep. Sleep decided to stay home when she left. She tried to look for it in her luggage and carry-on bag, even in her makeup kit, but sleep was nowhere to be found. She realized not any time sooner that she would have to borrow other people's in order to get five hours of euphoria. Yes. She tried Ambien and Benadryl, but none worked. Sleep with me tonight. It wasn't necessary to say it out loud. A look would do. By the time shape of my heart was over, she knew, he knew, where this was heading. There are tears in your voice. He said after the song. To seem inconspicuous, he had to pretend to leave first. She, on the other hand, had to bid adieu, or chow, or nate, to the audience. <laughs>